Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Oh shit. Here we go again. What's going on everyone? It's your favorite Jealous Hater and welcome to the most positive and uplifting channel on the platform. So as we all know, Karen's fitness brand is a flop. That's just a given. It's been rebranded like two or three times. It was actually once based around fitness, but obviously that really didn't work out. Then the focus went to the leggings, but eventually the little fetuses got sick of buying the same things over and over again. And now Kcass has become this big old participation trophy as in as long as you feel kick-ass that's all that really matters sounds like something a loser would say anyways one big factor that killed kick-ass was karen and still is Karen. The fitness lifestyle and her don't really go together. She claims to live a healthy lifestyle for her and her children. It's important for me to stay healthy for mainly my family. I don't want to be exhausted. I want to be able to run around and jump in the pool with my kids and go wakeboarding with them and go on a like, trip with them and like have the energy and actually want to physically play with them and like have the energy for that. I also want to be around a long time to just see them grow up and not be worried about my health and and I want them to see how I take care of myself so that in return they will take care of themselves and know that you only have one body. You need to treat it right and I know I didn't do that for the longest time so um I just want to be that great role model for my kids. But then stuffs her face full of Chick-fil-A and Starbucks on the daily. She even claims to love and have a passion for working out, yet we never see a glimpse of her doing it. And when we actually do, she jumps around like a damn sail waiting for lunch. And the best part is that she's the face of Kick-Ass, which would actually explain why the business has failed so hard. Although let's give her a little credit here, starting her new fitness adventure by f***ing it up right from the start. Stepping out of my comfort zone of weightlifting and just signed up for Pilates. I'm so excited for this new fitness goal of mine. Yeah, well, nothing says excitement quite like slaughtering its very name. And what weightlifting comfort zone is she even going on about? She can't even pick up a damn dinner plate. I think her getting out of bed by noon is stepping out of her comfort zone. Not to mention, didn't she just say not that long ago that she stopped showing her workouts and talking about them even though she never did because she felt like she wasn't working out for herself anymore or something dumb like that i mean the only person getting the benefits out of working out is you now obviously i'm quite critical when it comes to kick ass and kk and baby J. I have a lot to say and now my future ex-wife karen has given me the opportunity of a lifetime to speak my mind once again and you all know me i'm gonna give it to her okay let's spread some positivity or something so what do i mean by karen has given me the opportunity well recently she posted up this we want to hear from you we'd love to hear why you love our brand kick ass how our community has helped you in any way through workouts feeling confident in what you wear to the gear we offer to help meet your goals please record in landscape sideways it can be recorded from your phone we love and appreciate you all and would love to hear from you and why you love supporting kick ass okay so first off obviously this was written by karen as you can tell from all the mistakes here. Now that being said, one of the biggest things I took from this is that they're not asking for criticism. They're not asking, hey, tell us what's wrong with our company or tell us what we can do to better you guys and to improve you guys or improve ourselves to make it better for everyone. No, it's tell us why you love us, why you support us. There's no negativity here. You can only tell us why you love us. And this is no surprise coming from Karen. I mean, her and her husband have this really, really, Really dumb mindset that you shouldn't take any criticism from people who haven't constructed anything. That is one of the lamest excuses I've ever heard to not take criticism. Criticism is a good thing. It can be if you absorb it and that's how you can make your brand better, but they're not good at that. Hence why their vlog channel is failing. Hence why Kickass has never taken off the ground. Kickass could have been way better than what it is now. I make more money on my channel shit posting than Karen does from her kick-ass YouTube channel and they have three times the amount of subs I do now you tell me why some loser like me gets more views and gets paid more than people who have over a million subs on their other channels and all these other followers everywhere else on Instagram and TikTok, whatever why am I getting paid more than they are on something 
positive because it doesn't work for them because they don't give it any attention because they don't take people's criticism Kieran and Kowal don't care what other people have to say because they put value in money and material possessions and that includes their own fan base if they actually cared what people had to say they would ask for it because they can't take any negativity even though it's not even negative to say, hey, this is what I think is wrong with your brand. The only people making it negative are Karen and Qua and whoever else works there. I mean, a great example is when Karen was jumping around like a sail doing jump ropes or whatever she was doing and people went to the comments and criticized her and she took down the video, put it back up, but deleted all the comments. But majority of the comments weren't even negative. They were saying that Karen was being highly unprofessional. That's not negativity. They're not jealous haters for saying that. It's critiquing the video. When it comes to fitness, people want to work out. And when they see stuff like this, it's a joke. Just like when Karen lets her kids color all over the cake ass boxes to send to her cronies, which by the way, proves that only their fan base buys their shit. But aside from that, if I got a package that I ordered for workout equipment or workout gear, whatever, and it had a bunch of crayon marks all over it, I'd be like, what the hell is this? I'm never buying from this company again. It's called professionalism. And and that's what people were looking for. Nobody was harsh in those comments. They were just telling it like it is, but they can't handle that sort of thing. Because again, they only wanna hear one thing on how much you love them, why you support them, but nothing about how they can improve themselves or how they can improve their vlogging channel or how they can improve kick ass, nothing. They don't want any criticism or any suggestions from anybody because apparently if you haven't constructed anything in your life, your word isn't shit. That's their logic on that. But one of the main reasons I'm so critical of KCAS is because I'm an actual bodybuilder. I can see that the company is shit. I have constructed something. It's called my body. Just because I haven't made money on it doesn't mean I can't place my opinion on it. But it is funny how she worded it saying, tell us how our community helped you be confident or whatever. Anybody's confidence doesn't come from any other company it comes from the person who goes in and busts their ass for the dream body that they wanted and now they become confident off of that it is pretty hilarious though how karen wants to act like kick ass has this big giant community it is so small not even a fraction from their vlog channel because no, because nobody takes it seriously you might go to their comment section on kick ass and find one or two comments and it's always the same people the community that she's talking about has nothing to do with the audience it's karen and her team which is very small there's not a bunch of girls on kick ass uplifting each other staying in their light and all that crap it's just a bunch of posts to buy more leggings <laughs> and there's nothing on kick ass that makes you want to work out or get through a workout they're always posting the same damn thing five to ten minute hit workouts nobody wants to do that it's so boring it's just the same generic crap not to mention how the hell are you supposed to motivate people inspire people and get people through a workout when you just missed an entire month to post content and you only post once a week and if you do actually post an extra video on youtube it's because you're selling leggings and you're doing a little teaser or whatever but you can't really motivate people when you have no motivation on your channel not to mention when you say you're going to do things and don't actually do them Early on, when Karen was on her little fitness adventure, her actual one, she claimed that she was going to get a personal training certification and never did. Oh, and let's not forget about the kick-ass app that never happened. All these things that they say are coming, never come. Karen just posted about how something big's coming for kick-ass. Probably not, it might just be a new pair of leggings. We don't know. They always hype things up and it's always another disappointment. Now that's all I really gotta say on her little email thing, but let's talk about what Karen can do to make kick ass better i know that she'll see this video qual will see this video and they won't retain anything because that's just how the cookie crumbles man so first off karen needs to start working out for one she claims to love working out and all this passion yet you don't see it and she went on this whole little rant she felt like she wasn't working out for herself but that doesn't make any sense because the only person getting benefits from working out is her especially because she owns a fitness brand herself and on top of that why would you care if you're not working out for yourself when you started your business based upon your fitness journey, it makes no damn sense at all. It's just an excuse for her not working out. She just needs to bite the bullet and get some workouts in, do some squats, or as Kwa would say, oh, do the bar, and show your workouts. Because when you don't post about your fitness brand whatsoever, unless you're selling something, People aren't going to be interested in it. If you actually care about your community, you would show them how to be healthy, 
show them what they should do to work out to take care of their body i mean karen claims that's what she does so prove it what you don't want to show that you eat healthy because you don't feel like you're gonna be eating for yourself anymore <laughs> yeah that logic applies to anything she says you can even say that with her vlogging you're vlogging for memories wait a second though you put a price tag on your memories so does that mean every time you monetize your vlogs and push them out online for money does that mean you're no longer vlogging for yourself anymore you're no longer vlogging for memories and you're vlogging to push a product that's what it sounds like so again she doesn't want to show herself working out because she doesn't feel like she's working out for herself but has no issue posting her entire life yeah makes sense huh step it up on your youtube channel don't wait a month to post I know you don't like to do it, but if you want your brand to succeed and not fail, that's the way to go. You need to pay attention to your channel or else it's just gonna go nowhere. It's really bad for people who have such a huge following that they're only getting between two to 800 views per video. And 800 views is being generous. I feel like Carly and Daniel are just wasting their time. Nobody cares about them. No one cares about your trainers. They care about you. They wanna see you work out. Hence why, whenever you are actually in a workout video, it does better because you're in it because people wanna see you, not boring ass Carly. You're supposed to be the face of kick ass, so show your damn face already. But when you do decide to do that, have some damn professionalism. You know, I know you went on this whole thing when people criticizing you about jumping around like a seal, waiting for your fish. I know you had your little freak out. I am not a trainer. We all know that you're not a trainer. We, we just gotta watch you work out. That's all we gotta do is watch you work out, watch the improper form, watch you not even finish the entire set. Don't worry, sis, we know you're not a trainer. But when you do come back, have some damn professionalism. It's not about having fun. You can still have a lot of fun, still have a smile on your face and a great attitude, but actually kick ass. None of you guys are sweating in your videos. None of you guys are taking it seriously. And you say you wanna have fun, fine, have fun, but at least sweat a little. No one's saying don't have fun. We're just saying, know what you're doing. And you know, Karen, I know after my first video on kick ass, you decided to change up your company a couple of times. Took it away from the fitness aspect change it back to that make it about fitness stop doing this active wear line crap stop doing this life and leisure whatever you want whatever you're doing i don't even know i don't even know what it is anymore but it's far from fitness take it back to the fitness part because that's probably where the real money is you just have to take it seriously which you do need to take your customers seriously because i have had multiple complaints that your company kick ass has horrible customer service. People order shit from your company, leggings, whatever, and they don't fit like they say, or just something's wrong with the product. They try to contact you guys to get a return and they hear nothing back and they lose out on all their money. Yeah, that's not cool. Get your shit together on that too. And also give back to your community. You guys go on and on and on about how you care about your community so much, yet you guys have never actually given back to them at all, aside from an old vlog camera that nobody wants. Give out some free shit send people things have contests do giveaways stop literally showing everyone that you're all about money if you weren't actually all about money you would do more of those things actually give back to people but you don't do it which again is why you're losing and lastly come up with your own shit like seriously every time i see a post from them it is almost a carbon copy of something from lululemon literally there was this one video of karen showing off the kick stuff and the, the mat that they had the yoga mat or whatever it was this tag sewed on it was really shitty it's like they bought it from china and just sewed their tag over it that's literally what it looked like it was a horrible hack job i know it's hard for you guys to come up with your own shit because you guys are not creative whatsoever but maybe hire somebody and create like a little creativity department or something like that because karen it's bad man you really gotta stop copying people <laughs> we can tell we can see that all your products are carbon copies of everyone else's shit anyways all you jealous haters that's about it there was one more thing i did want to add and that's don't use your failed business to capitalize on the pandemic in conclusion i am not a trainer